Last hour, I spoke with Adobe's chairman and CEO, Shantu Narayan, for an exclusive interview. He told me the company continues to succeed in the uncertain economy, and he's still bullish on 2023. Given the strength that we saw uh, during the quarter, uh, you know, we reiterated those targets. But I think the way we think about it, and perhaps even more relevant as we celebrate our 40th anniversary, is in tough macroeconomic times, the stronger companies are going to get stronger. And so it's not for a lack of opportunity. It's not for a lack of great talent that we have within the company. We have these great technology platforms that we're building. We have a massive ecosystem. Uh, so we're going to do great, uh, whether it's a you know, tough macroeconomic environment or not. And what we might do is different, but I think the focus on profitability is something that investors have perhaps heightened a little bit more, John, as well through this period. And as you could see, uh, one of the amazing things was despite foreign exchange and the strengthening of a dollar being such a headwind for every business, we actually exceeded the EPS targets that we provided at the beginning of last year. And so, you know, we'll uh, tune uh, the strategy and the prioritization based on what it is. But at this point, we're just looking at the massive opportunity, the lead that we have, the differentiation, and saying, you know, let's uh, continue to focus on delivering great value to our customers. Got to touch on Figma. Uh, you said on the call that you uh, see that moving at the pace expected. But boy, there are a lot of questions about the regulatory gauntlet that you're going to have to run through, especially with uh, Microsoft, Activision, Blizzard even getting challenged. How long are you prepared to wait uh, for that to go through? And are there things that you're having to do to make sure that it doesn't become an overhanging distraction, even if it does eventually get approved? Well, the good news uh, there, John, is when you and I last spoke and we had just announced the acquisition of Figma, I think there were two questions. Uh, the first question was around what does that mean for Adobe's core business? And second, as you pointed out, uh, what does this mean uh, in the current regulatory uh, approval if it doesn't uh, go through. Clearly, we've demonstrated that the core business continues to do incredibly well. And, you know, that continues to be a focus for us. But we do believe that this is a great adjacency for us, I think, in terms of accelerating product design, in terms of what we can do for collaborative creativity, as well as, you know, this emerging space where creativity and productivity are coming together. We've seen a marked difference in terms of how uh, the financial community is now getting excited about the potential of Adobe and Figma coming together. I think as it relates to the actual process, uh, the process is proceeding apace. Uh, and, you know, we are engaging, as we said on our prepared remarks on the call, uh, with both the DOJ as well as with the EU. Uh, but we're confident and, you know, we will continue to work the issues with all of the regulatory approval bodies. So one remarkable thing about this quarter to mention, and then I think uh, an outstanding question, the remarkable thing is net new digital media annualized recurring revenue was up $576 million year over year. That's above the 550 high end of the guide that Adobe gave. So even in this environment where digital advertising is constrained, they continue to be able to do that. And the question I asked him was, how much of that gets challenged in 23? Is this sort of a lagging indicator? Will there be churn? He and the CFO and others argued on the call that their ability to look at how the product is being used and create these funnels for increased use is going to mitigate that. Meanwhile, Adobe also celebrating more than just a strong quarter. And Ryan reflected on Adobe's 40 years of existence and where he sees the future. It's uh, really been a blessing in my life, John, that I got the opportunity to work with uh, you know, two legends in the computer industry, John Warnock uh, and Chuck Geschke. And among the things that I learned from them uh, very early on uh, was first, you know, build technology that amazes and inspires and makes an impact. And when you think about PostScript, my first product uh, that I really worked on was InDesign and InDesign certainly transform the publishing industry. And so I think this focus on technology platforms that are durable. The other theme for us is always about uh, just recognizing that great ideas come from everywhere in the company. And if you can create a culture where people feel like they can do their best work and they can grow, uh, that really is at the end of the day, uh, a significant predictor to success.